Another thing I have to do is I still have to get the rotted wood out of here. So I've got my trusty handy dandy old screwdriver that I use for prying and all that garbage. <laughs> and a uh, little hammer. Doesn't matter. I just need something to be able to break this up with. This is all rotted. So. Just one of those areas that uh, I've been procrastinating on. But I'm ready to get this bathroom floor in and finished. So I will continue to plug away at this, chip away at this, and get it all out. See, so that's just old rotted garbage, old rotted wood. Yep, just old rotted stuff. And then I'll bring in my shop back and uh, really get the rest of this cleaned out. Pretty much want it flush with this wall here. I'm gonna lay the new floor down, I won't have issues. So, get the whole way back. I got all of it out over in this section. But, uh, still have to work on this section. The old needle nose pliers also help. I should have gloves on, but but I took them off. It just breaks through that stuff. This is how I got the old linoleum up. Very effective, right? Look at that. So I'm back in the Twinkie. It is uh, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, whatever the date is. I think it's the 30th, November 30th. I was hoping, you know, to be a lot further along on this project, but, you know, we're getting there. So what I did the other day, I came in and I put the, let's see if we can get down here where we can see it. Okay, so I put the steel stick along here, and I actually melded it under there and along the back side, and then I patched up a few other areas with it. Cleaned it up, as you could tell. I took the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer and did a second coat of spray over the metal parts. Of course, here is one of my support boards. And I have another support board, which fits inside of that channel, which I still have to screw into there. And I have another one to place, probably would be best. Actually, maybe I should cut a couple. Put one here and put one right here. I think that would be a really good idea, cut two of them. I only cut one. But it would be a good idea to support it under here and right. Let's get the camera right. Be a really good idea to support it under this board although there is a beam but it goes way back there so support it put one under there and then another one beside it that would give me extra reinforcement i realized <laughs> before i could put my insulation down i needed to secure my boards so i just drilled two holes here with a titanium drill bit and i will secure this board and I have two inch construction screws that I'm using the convenience of having a <laughs> two different drills I actually have three but one of them's dead is I don't have to keep switching bits and such. Okay, so there we go. Um, today is Monday, December 2nd, 2019. I have my brace boards put in. And uh, no, they do not actually touch the bottom because if they did, that would cause them to go through the aluminum sheeting and we don't want that to happen. 
So they're nice and secure in there. I will probably get a side bolt to run them through each other. I'm not too sure if that's really necessary though. But uh, they're in there. So now I can put the um, insulation in and then plan on laying the floor. Okay, uh, two rolls of insulation, R13, one roll up here, well, part of a roll up here, part of a roll behind my kitchen cabinet area, behind the stove area, and behind some of the drawers, and then the bathroom floor, and here's what's left. Not bad. Hang on to it because I may, I'm not done yet. So just in case, because I may have to do another section. But there we go. There is the bathroom floor. Alrighty, so my braces are in, my insulation is in, and I am done with this phase of it. Next we'll be figuring how to put the floor down and then installing the toilet. Wow. Once I get that phase done, then hopefully I will be able to start laying my flooring. So we shall see how much I get done this month. I had another, another slew of interruptions today, but I kept on working. Answered the phone when I needed to, but I kept on working. So thank you for watching. Live the life you love, and I hope you don't find this project too boring. Talk to y'all later. Bye.